All right, everybody, let's take a ride. I'm all mic'd up. Got the uh, phone on the little phone holder on the uh, EUI bike. Let's take it for a ride. Maybe head over to the inlet. We should be there in no time uh, with the speed this thing's got. So I got it on uh, one just to get out of here. That tires go over this uh, gravel easily. Speed number one is 10 miles an hour. And I think it increases five miles an hour for every uh, pedal assist you go up. So we're gonna go to two now. I'm just barely pedaling. You hear the motor pick up, the 1000 watt motor. I'm doing 15 miles an hour, absolutely. A great little speed right here. And number two. But if you want to get there in a hurry, let's go to three. I'm just barely pedaling. I don't have to put a lot of effort out like on the uh, torque sensor motor. Look at this. I'm just moving my legs and we are cruising 20 miles an hour. Very bad, very good speed on a bicycle. You better be on the street for this speed. The sidewalk's going to be too fast. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Cross the road and get in the bike lane. After the light here. Pull it on up. I'm not gonna trip the light with this, but that car over there will. All right, I got a green light here. Here we go. All right, we're all good. Let's take it up to five so we can get on out of here. Here it goes. We're gonna hit over 30 miles an hour probably. How's that wind muff working out? <laughs> 27. 28. 29. 30. 31. Wow, that was crazy. That person was coming down the wrong side of the road. Wow. Back to 30. This thing is moving 31. It'll run over 30 miles an hour all day long. Wow, I'm already here at the red light at Boynton Beach Boulevard. Oh, buddy. Yeah, watch these people, man. They just, they're texting and driving. They want to get in the bike lane because they don't have any patience to wait till their turn to get to the light here. All right, we got a green light. Let's go. Pedal assist five. Barely pedaling. Cranking up, it's too fast actually. I'm gonna go down to four. Yeah, I'm on four now. Four is like 25 miles an hour. That's, that's screaming fast. Plus you're gonna save your battery. Got these hydraulic brakes are working out really nice. I right, we got some more e-bikes here. How's it going? Pretty good. The same kind? Yeah, yeah, I've, I think I've heard of them. They ain't bad. Chinese, they're all made in oh, China. Hell yeah. God. I'm doing a review on this one. It's an EUY. This thing was just going 32 miles an hour. That's pretty good. That looks like a good big battery. Too. Yeah, it's a 48 volt, 25 amp hour. So how long does it last? And a 1,000 uh, watt motor. Uh, it's saying like 30 miles, 40 miles. Longer than I want to sit on it. <laughs> I was doing 30 in the bike lane and somebody's coming this way in a bike, on a bike, 
against traffic, comes behind a car. That was close. Oh, have a good one. Those guys are moving out. I got to cross back over here and we're heading down past the banana boat in two Georges uh, over Ocean Avenue. And I remember the e-scooter, I could barely pull that bridge. I know this thing's gonna scream across it. A lot of traffic here. Gotta be careful. 35 mile an hour zone, these people are doing 50, 60. Easily. Here comes one, doesn't care, I'm in the crosswalk. She's just gassing it. <laughs> well, I'll get out here to the middle. This thing is so easy to ride with this banana seat, it really is. All right, we got the, uh, we got the red light here. All right, let's get going. In four, uh, pedal assist four, fast enough. We're in the bike lane. Man, this is some bike. I gotta do a uh, mileage test one day, see how far I really do go on it. Hope that microphone's working with you. I got a lot of wind blowing at me. That's gonna be the real test. If that mic can filter out this wind, then <laughs> that's one heck of a mic. All right, we're down to 20 in pedal assist four, 19. Now oh, here she goes again, back to 25. Pulled that hill, lost five miles an hour. Now we're uh, actually braking, not braking, but we're not going any faster because uh, that's the maximum speed. I'm barely moving my legs. The 1,000 watt motor is still putting out all it's got, but it's only gonna put out 25 miles an hour because we're in number four, pedal assist four. And that's just fine with me. Yeah, this is plenty fast. Actually, three would be comfortable. This is just to get there, you know, if you're trying to get somewhere. We're gonna make a left here and we're gonna be down at that inlet before you know it. I'm gonna to have to get myself a mirror for sure. I definitely need a mirror. How you doing? All right, we got a green light. Let's move it on out. We're over here at Oprah's house. Let's see if we can keep up with traffic. I'm going back to five. I'm gonna scream down to the inlet here. See what the top speed is. Whoa, sorry buddy. Uh, he gave me the thumbs up. We're running 28. I don't know what this white car here. You can't trust anybody. See, he just saw me. When you get going speeds like this on a bicycle, uh, you know, you gotta think about good braking because it's a lot of weight and you weigh a lot, I weigh a lot, and uh, you need good brakes and this one's got it. Boy, are we moving. I'm barely moving my feet and this 1,000 watt motor is pushing out 30 miles an hour, 30.2. It'll give you 30, folks. You get a tailwind. 
I've seen people on YouTube go up to 32, 33. But, you know, it's negligible. When you get to be 28 to 30 miles an hour, you're going all you need. Woo! 30. Maintaining 30. What a beautiful day. I'm just barely moving my legs, folks. And this bike is carrying me. 206 pounds. It's a good size frame. I don't feel like my knees are in my chest. I'd say if you were 6'1 or 2, it says it will fit you, but you might be a little big on it. Yeah. Yeah, any faster than this, you need a driver's license. <laughs> Woo, this is great. All right, stop pedaling, let it, let it kill out. I, I, gotta, I gotta find out what this uh, microphone's doing because when I play this back, I got so much wind in my face. Climbing the little hill there. Well, let's go on out to the jetty, huh? Let's get up, uh, let's go on over the bridge and then I go out on there where they're fishing. I don't have my backpack and my air pump on me or I could have drop the tire pressure and uh, see how it is on the beach like that other bike I had. It went it went on the sand like no problem. Alright. Here we go. We're going to go down to the uh, north side of the jetty. I'm going to back it down already to uh, one. We don't need any more pedal assist than one. You always got to be cognizant of dropping that number down before you start pedaling again when you get one of these, especially like this bike. And you do get a couple of turns on the pedal before that motor kicks in. So it's not gonna just jump out from under you. It's designed that way. So yeah, here we go, 10 miles an hour, you know, faster than walking speed. Nobody out here fishing. I hope I don't get any fish hooks. Look out. Look how you can go everywhere on one of these things. This is great. Let's head on back. Let me give you guys a little shot of that view right there. Tide is going out, racing out. Let's go over here and take a look. I can uh, bounce up and down the seat and I feel that, that shock absorber. Uh, yeah, the thing really gives you a soft ride. This is a very comfortable bike, very comfortable. Oh, see, now there you go, guys. You see the, um, what I've been trying to tell you all this time? I'll take the phone out of the holder. I got to show you this. When they dredge, when they do the dredging, when they put that thing down in the water, see that hole it dug out? See the hole right down there? And they sweep back and forth, sweep back and forth with that pipe. And they drop it down, and that's as far as it can go. And once they dig all the sand out of that hole that gets washed in, and then pump it all the way down, I'll zoom in for you, to that pipe down there that's sticking out over the rocks. I can't really see it, I hope you can. Uh, that's what helps the beach erosion. They're not doing anything here. This is where the sand comes in naturally. And they take advantage of that and suck it up and put it out over there uh, to keep beach erosion down. But look how deep it is. Watch this guy when he, he skims over into it. I mean, it's, it's only ankle deep like right here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I guess we're gonna skim down that way. Skim boards. Look at this guy. He's pretty good. They're having a lot of fun. Water's nice and warm. 
These guys have no wetsuits or anything on. But look at that nice little pool. And see, they're not doing anything right now, so it's totally safe. It's just fun to get in that little deep pool. All right, let's uh, put it back on fish eye. Let's put you back into the little thing here. That's where you've been riding along with me. And uh, hopefully I can do this without breaking anything. All right. Okay, let's get going. Oh, yeah. Now I'm just using the throttle. I'm not even pedaling. I'm just uh, using the throttle over here on the handlebar. That way I can control the speed. If I pedal, I'm going to go 10 miles an hour minimum uh, because it's going to give me all the power. But when I use the throttle here, I can simply, uh, you know, get out of it, get in it, get out of it, get in it. We'll get the police up here. That's the uh, Manawa pan, or if it, or it could, you know, it could be Ocean Ridge. It is Manawa pan. They got nothing to do. Manawa pan is just a uh, boy. This thing really pulls that hill easily. When I uh, when I gassed it, it just pulled me right up that hill. Now I'm going to pedal, and all I'm going to get is 10 miles an hour. I better take it up to 2, give me 15, because I'm going to go down here and make a right-hand turn into the inlet. I'll go to 3, take it to 20 miles an hour, get on down here. Yeah, I'm going to be real curious of how that mic does. All right, we're going to make a right, right into the uh, Ocean Inlet Park, the Boynton Inlet. I'm uh, taking my little pedal assist number down to one again, so that I'm just crawling around 10 miles an hour. I'm not going to jump out there and go too fast. There's a Honda Goldwing riding two up. It's uh, one of the best motorcycles in the world, good for a million miles. Big V6 motor in them, like a little Honda Civic. Got us a Harley Davidson here and a, something else over there with a little e-scooter too. So I'm just gassing it now and then in and out of the gas, a throttle I should say. Just riding around. There's a B-52 Seagull. Bunch of seagulls sitting on the wall there. This is what I used to do is come sit on a chair like they're doing on the seawall. I could have got some sun today, man, but I guess I don't really need to sit in it. We'll go around one more time since you asked me to. <laughs> yeah, I'm just using the throttle now, just feathering it, not pedaling at all. I'm doing like nine. We'll slow down up here and I'll show you the couple of things that I might have zipped past that I was talking about that you didn't see. There's a pelican on the seawall. And then uh, when I was saying these people over here sitting in chairs, how you doing? Uh, right here, this is what I used to do. Just having a good time there. Having a real good time down here in South Florida. On the seawall, Boynton Inlet. In a chair, looking at your phone. <laughs> no matter where you go and what you're doing, no matter how good it is, you're gonna look at that phone. Ah, we're all guilty of it. It's an addiction. Well, let's uh, ride her on back over to Teddy's place, to Tight Pants Point. That's the spot that I uh, have my bushwhacker in. The uh, Crasher Mini, the Crasher 2. I'm trying to think of a name for that. Anyway, I can tell you this. The EUY e-bike is got to be one of the best values for as close to $1,000. That 1,000 watt motor 
This big battery, the frame design, huge headlight. The suspension is so comfortable. As long as you're under, um, you know, taller than 5'5", five, five. they say I think you can ride it at 5'2", but as long as you're taller than 5'5", five, five and under 6 feet, it's a real sweet spot for you. I'm just going to throttle it only. And uh, there's the police. Get over here in this little lane here. I'm just throttle only. Slow down. This car is waiting to make a left. Another one coming out. Look at this. He's going to run right in. He's going to run right into that guy. I'll tell you, folks. I tell you. You got a temp tag on that little Honda. We're in Ocean Ridge now. Hey, I'll take you guys for a ride since I'm on the e-bike. Let me take you down here and show you some fine homes. Let me back it down to uh, three is a good speed. We'll just pedal. We are in the uh, island of Ocean Ridge. Let me just show you what I just went across there, though. Let me just show you how people are living. Boy, you can zip this thing right around, uh, put one leg down and turn it around like a dirt bike. Take a look at that. This is the backyard of the, the houses on A1A. That are, the Ocean Road is right out in front of those houses where we were riding. And this is a, uh, an island that we're on right now. Deep water canal, so people with big boats. Let's go on down. I think this will go around. See, that's the intracoastal in front of us. The ocean's behind us, and this is the big water, the intracoastal. Oh, here's a lot for sale. They're going to build on it. Oh, boy. Let me just uh, show you what you're looking at there if you want to buy it. This is what you got to look forward to. That's probably two lots all the way from way over there. Maybe three lots. But somebody with the big money could buy the whole thing and build them a monster. And the view is the intercoastal waterway right in front of us. And that goes all the way to the Keys and all the way to, I guess, all the way to North, North Florida. So all these homes over here on the right will be the, the, the most expensive because they're on the water. But there's nothing in here cheap. <laughs> I can assure you of that. Yeah, I've been down this road before. Uh, Ocean Ridge is tiny, and probably a lot of people here know each other. Hey, there's a red forerunner. Yeah, like I say, I hope that cat muffin, cat muff, windscreen, whatever they call that thing, cat foot is working out. This is the other side of that bridge that I showed you guys. This is what the other folks look at. Now see those boat lifts, boat elevators, so they don't get barnacles and green algae and stuff on the bottom of their boat. Is that will affect the speed? Man, what a nice day. Here we go. Cranking up the speed to five. Let's roll. 
Let's see what we got. There it goes. There goes 1,000 watts. Thirty miles an hour. The EUY bike. Big motor, big battery. Moped style. Got a halo light and a bright light uh, for the nighttime riding. Tail light back there. Brake light. Going through the uh, crossroads here. I just, when I got out of the uh, pedaling, I had to pedal about four rotations before the motor kicked back in. And that's fine. You don't want it to kick in like immediately, and especially when you're making a turn in a parking lot. You know, as soon as you start pedaling, it just jumps out. That'll, that'll, uh, that could be dangerous. So you do got to give it a little rotation or two. Uh, sometimes not as much. On that one there, I had to give it about four turns. As soon as I stop, like right now, I'm not, I hear the motor kick off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow. That was a little delay. That was a little delay. Now let's stop. Now this is Ocean Ridge Police. Let's stop and see how many rotations I got to do. Uh, to get the motor to kick in. Let's make a little turn here. I'll just start pedaling now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There it is. So half as many. There we go. It's going to take it all the way out. I got it in pedal assist five. Coming over the uh, banana boat and the Two Georges Bridge here, uh, Ocean Ocean Avenue, Ocean Boulevard. I get them mixed up. There's another one in Lantana. Pull that bridge like nothing, and I'll uh, I'll take you back up there and give you the bridge view of Banana Boat and Two Georges. Since it's only going to take us a second <laughs> to get back, the, the noise you hear is not the motor because the motor's not working. That's those, uh, that's those tires. All right, here we go up the uh, pedestrian path. I used the throttle just to keep me going because the pedal would have took a while. Now I'm throttling again. I'm still in five, so I have all the power. All right, we're gonna be up here. I'm gonna show you uh, the banana boat and the two Georges. There's a nice little turnout right here. Beautiful bridge. Let's go right over here and take a look. Okay, I'll take you out of the little phone holder here so you can see better. I won't get cheap on you. All right, we'll zoom in a little bit too. So right down to below there is the banana boat, people sitting on the patio. And across the way is the Two Georges. Two Georges is more of a, of a locals uh, place. They also have outdoor seating. I would, I would give the food quality to banana boat hands down back out for you guys hang on this place right here has got good food but it's a, it's a little pricey they've both been there I don't know which one was first they've both been here forever and I am staying if you will look for an orange buoy you can see it now on the left side of the screen I'm probably 
a hundred yards past that on the same side as where tight pants point is and Teddy and Jolene's place. So you can walk here, you know. They have live music on Friday and Saturday night uh, in the afternoons too. So I might have to come over here tomorrow. Take a look, see, do a little dancing, a little foot stomping. Get a get a soda and a an appetizer or something, and have a good time. Living life, folks. Living life. All right, let's back it down to one before I get hurt going downhill. Peek out here. Let's peek. All right, here. Oh. We do have a pedestrian walking down the bridge, so I'll yield to them. I'd say it's a great way to get around. Now, because I'm in a pedestrian thing here, I will absolutely uh, yield uh, to the pedestrian and let them uh, go by. You're welcome. Yeah, the parking lot, I'll show you. The parking lot is jamming. We'll ride over there. Let's go over there. We'll ride through the parking lot. I got it full throttle, but it only gives me 10 miles an hour. I think I can coast faster. Now oh, the gentleman's trying to yield to me. Very nice. How are you doing, my friend? Good. How are you? Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're on number one, doing 10. Coming around here to the parking lot of the banana boat. I think this car is going to want to go into the banana boat. Yep. They're filing in, man. They want to, they want to get in there and eat, and drink, and be merry, enjoy the beautiful weather, sit out on the patio. So this is the marina, two Georges. And straight ahead is our banana boat. There's not too many places in here to park that you can park yourself, like self-parking. Uh, it's pretty much mandatory, <laughs> mandatory that you um, let them park you. I'm really surprised how people drive in parking lots where they don't even, not worrying about a bicycle, but Maybe somebody backing out of their parking spot. So you see right here, they, they valet you. And uh, right over here is the uh, two Georges across the way. They're sitting over there and the, and the band is over there in their corners where they usually set up. That's the real killer. Yeah, straight ahead in the left side of your screen there is the uh, area where the band sets up at the two Georges. Lousy cooking. All right, let's get on out of here. I heard somebody say something about lousy cooking. I couldn't tell you if they were talking about this place or uh, some other person. Everybody has a day. This guy here is going to sit and camp out. Yeah, he wants that spot right there. He's like, damn a valet. <laughs> All right, let me go to two, because I couldn't get any more than 10 miles an hour there in one. Yeah, they're all in here. Uh, this big high rise has got a uh, underground parking lot. I'm sure you're really not interested. I'll show you the road around here. We're gonna make a, a left here. And no, I'm not stopping at the stop sign. This is the, uh, this is the building here that's just the coolest place in the world to live in Palm Beach County. All right, the two Georges and the banana boat are right there behind you. That, and that's your front door. The back door steps out to your own uh, boat slip. And these are three-story, uh, right above the video, the camera there, this would be the, the garage door you're coming out right here. And then you go up to the living room, to the second floor, 
and then you go up one more deck to the either the two or the three bedroom uh, level. It's three levels, and it's an extremely nice little marina there where um, the water never gets rough, the boats don't move around or anything, you know, unless there's a hurricane coming or something. And you could have stole one of those places some years back, but not now. So this is the new uh, thing they created here. It's a dog park. And uh, there's a couple of doggies over there right now. How you doing, ladies? And this is the new road they made. And the people that reside here on the left are uh, enjoying uh, the dog park and this new wide sidewalk they made. And then if you want, uh, if you live in that condo there, they've got um, do not feed alligators, $100 fine. They got a little thing here to walk out on or ride out on. <laughs> Let's walk on out here. Nice little pavilion. There are alligators in the water. They don't want you to feed them. They're saying it's a hundred dollar fine. Look at this big thing. Look at this thing. I can go all around in here. I still got it, folks. I'll go out this way now. Big high rise over here on the right. High rises on the left. Boynton Beach on the water. There's a guy flying through there, man, flying. To what? To a red light. Come on, people, slow down. Let's get out here on the bike lane and take it up to light speed ourselves. after we make this turn to the right. Bud chickens through the light. I'm not going to do it. I got to stay away from that place. So taking it up to five, and I'm going to go and get out there right now in the bike lane. Start pedaling. Here it goes. It's going to take us up to 30 plus miles an hour. Yeah, this bike here is a keeper. I get over uh, around the country, you know, I'm taking this with me for sure. Uh, with the little bushcraft, I mean bushcraft. Uh, what's it called? What's my new camper called? A uh, bushwhacker. <laughs> I'll be taking this. So I get to the state parks or campgrounds or uh, trails. Oh yeah, I'm gonna ride some trails. I'll take my air pump and my backpack. I'll have some drinks and sunscreen and oh yeah. I'll be, I'll be hitting the trails, making some videos for you guys all across America. Me and the Bushwhacker and the EUI bike. That Tesla went right through that red light. All right, I've pedaled about six turns now. Here it is, kicking in. I actually got a little cool breeze when you're at this speed. Bike's got 14 miles on it. And I can't wait to find out about this audio. 27 and a half miles an hour. 27 to 30, it's all the same. You're flying. Next thing you know, you got a brake. And those brakes work. Hydraulic brakes. Big battery, big motor, fat tires, nice frame. Let's see if Teddy's around. You over there? Get the light on. Oh, Chris is back. 
The awning's still up. <laughs> Here we are. I waxed the bushwhacker today, by the way, folks. Stem to stern. And I've uh, put some armor all on the tires, too. I turned the generator off while I was gone. I got to fire it back up now to keep my refrigerator cold. And uh, think about getting a cold one myself. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video um, riding the EUI bike. My review is awesome. It's uh, got 14 miles on it. We'll continue to review it as we travel across the country with it. Uh, the battery says right now, let's go through it. I'll show you myself. So there it is. Uh, let me see if I can focus. Why won't it focus? Hmm. Well, anyway, it says 14 miles. Let me back out a little bit. And then uh, 7.9. We went, we went 8 miles uh, today. Yeah, just now. And... Uh, 47 volts it still has out of 52 is a full charge and I said yesterday I think 42 was the uh, dead but I could be wrong I don't know and then uh, that is something that will only register when we're when we're uh, riding and it's pulling the grade or something to show you the current that it's pulling but the battery you can see is missing like one little uh, notch there and uh, like I say the uh, time was 40 minutes a 40 minute ride we took a lot of good information and um, four mi 14 miles on it like I say the uh, 7.9 today and the volts are still 47 and a half volts out of 52 so it's got a while to go before this thing goes dead so anyway I think we crushed it 